it's been a crazy last 10 days in the world of politics. Um, 10 days ago, there was an attempt on President Trump's life. Just two days ago, Joe Biden said, you know what? I'm dropping out of the race. And I'm going to endorse my vice president, Kamala Harris, to take my place as president of the United States. And since that time, those that are awake can see what's going on here. This isn't the first rodeo where the Democrats have, we'll just say, stacked the get deck as to who they want to be running for president. They did it in 2016 with Hillary. They stacked the deck against Bernie Sanders. Then they did it in 2020 where they stacked the deck in Joe Biden's favor. And here now they're doing it again where they're stacking the deck in Kamala Harris's favor. Now, what, I, what do I mean by stack the deck? Well, what I mean by stack the deck is, is that the primary season's over. People have voted. They voted as, for Joe Biden to be the Democrat leader running for president. For him to be a second term. But now what they've done is they've pulled a bait and switch. It's not the people voting for Joe Biden. It's the political elite. It's the delegates, the super delegates that are going to now cast their vote supposedly at the Democratic National Convention for Kamala Harris. And they talk about Trump being a threat to democracy. Well, the threat to the democracy is the Democrat Party. As they proved in 2016, they proved in 2020, and they're proving again in 2024. But that's not all, folks. You have to remember, the Hollywood left, in fact, Hollywood, I shouldn't even say Hollywood left, they're just leftists to begin with. They're part of the vote blue no matter who crowd. So it doesn't matter if orange man bad, it doesn't matter if it's Donald Trump running for the Republicans. They're going to tell you to vote blue no matter who. Now, this is where it gets crazy. And I pulled this from Breitbart. Hollywood celebrities pay tribute to Biden rally behind Kamala. Now we have our marching orders. Marching orders? Hmm, what do you mean by marching orders? So in this article by David Ng at Breitbart, Hollywood celebrities who have been despondent for weeks over Joe Biden's political prospects went wild Sunday following the president's announcement that he will not be seeking re-election. Numerous stars paid perfunctionary tribute to Biden's so-called accomplishments while prematurely anointing Vice President Kamala Harris as the party's next nominee. Now keep in mind, there's somebody missing from all the... Um, uh, backing Kamala Harris being the next nominee, and that would be the Obamas. See, she's got the endorsement of President Biden. She's got the endorsement, the endorsement of the Hollywood elite. She's got the endorsement of Nancy Pelosi. She's got the endorsement of the Clintons, but she does not have the endorsement of the Obamas. At least not as of the recording of this video. Stars including Robert De Niro, Ben Stiller, Bette Midler, Mark Ruffalo, and John Cryer all weighed in. And I'm going to get to their tweets in a second. Sprite Bart News reported Joe Biden announced Sunday afternoon that he's ending his quest for re-election. While it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is the best interest of my party in the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term, he said in a prepared statement. Which, by the way, was released over on X. There was no... Statement from the Oval Office, which is something other presidents have done in the past. And there's been some questions as to the signature on that statement. Oh, and that statement wasn't even on presidential letterhead, by the way, either. Just food for thought. His decision comes from mounting pressure from donors and Democrat leaders to give up the race following his humiliating debate performance last month, during which a clearly disoriented Biden had trouble completing sentences. Lost his train of thought multiple times and blurted out gibberish. 
We finally beat Medicare. <laughs> Pushing out Biden less than four months from the November election has royal Democrats forcing them to scramble to find a replacement candidate, which is presumptively Kamala Harris. While Biden threw his support behind Kamala Harris on Sunday, former President Barack Obama was conspicuously quiet on the subject leading to speculation that there will be an open primary, which would be a slap in the face to Harris. Now, as of this morning, Harris has got verbally the delegates behind her to vote for her to be the nomination for president for the Democrat side of things. We'll see how long that holds up because the Democrat convention's in another three weeks. Despite being... Unpopular, even more unpopular than Joe Biden, Kamala Harris has always been able to count on Hollywood for moral and financial support, a long-held tie from her California politics, or her days in California politics. So here we go. Mark Hamill. The SOB, Mark Hamill. Joe Biden has a record of accomplishments unmatched by any president in our lifetime. Okay, Mark, name them. He restored honesty, dignity, and integrity to the office after four years of lies, crime, scandal, and chaos. Um, don't you have that reversed, Mark? Thank you for your service, Mr. President. It's now our duty as patriotic Americans to blah, 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 blah. Robert De Niro, an outspoken critic of Donald Trump, reacted Sunday afternoon as news spread on Joe Biden's decision not to seek a second term. I'm not even going to go there with Robert De Niro. He's, he's lost it, in my opinion. George Takai. I want to honor our president, Joe Biden. He has served our nation admirably for decades. He is a decently honorable man, a hugely successful president, and a patriot. Now let's unite behind Kamala Harris and defeat Donald Trump in November. John Cryer, we have 90 days. President Harris, let's do this. Ben Stiller, grateful for Joe Biden's service, selflessness, integrity, and putting country first. John Stewart just said legend. Mark Ruffalo. Okay, everybody, now we have our marching orders. Marching orders? Time to hit the trail running. No to Trump Vance. No to the right-wing Christian religious takeover of our nation. Nothing wrong with Christianity. You just shouldn't be running a nation birthed from freedom of religion. Oh, 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 Mark Ruffalo, you need to go back and read the Constitution, read the First Amendment. Just saying. Hadn't seen talk, hadn't seen TV talk to anyone, so didn't know it happened. I believe it's only chance for us to remain democracy. Them party must really, really think outside the box. Winning is all. Don't win. Can't change anything. And times they must be a changing. That was from Cher. Um, yeah. Joe Biden's a true American patriot. He's a fantastic president or been a fantastic president. It hurts that the circumstances have been so unique and historic that he was obliged to drop out. He is the rarest of politicians, a decent man who lived by his values. Joe Biden is a true patriot. Is my respect and gratitude for a lifetime of service. I obviously understand and respect this decision not to run. Thank you, Mr. President. Family prays for you and wishes you all good things as you finish your term and beyond. That was from Sean Astin. Previous one was from Bette Midler. Pat Oswalt. I'm ready, Kamala. People love Ratatouille in the swing states. Melissa Milano. All in. Hashtag all in for Kamala Harris. Hashtag unite. Wendell Price, President Biden's historic decision today was a selfless patriotic act. He deferred to what he decided was best for the party and the country. He saved this nation four years ago in the middle of a pandemic. An economic crisis and constitutional crisis after an insurrection against the United States of America. Oh, so there you have it. Hollywood left. Um, I'm going to say it again. If these people were truly honest with themselves and truly open their eyes, they would see what is happening right in front of them is a disgrace and a disservice to the Democratic Party. You cannot have people vote in a primary 
for the person they want to run for office. It doesn't care if he's got a D behind his name or an R behind his name. And then turn around and have that person drop out just before their convention. Four months before an election and be okay with the party elites selecting who is going to take that person's place. Anybody that is okay with that needs to go back and read the Constitution. That's all I've got to say. So there you go, folks. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Share your thoughts. Share your feelings. I don't care if you're a Democrat. I don't care if you're a Republican. What's going on here outside of the, the, the Hollywood leftists getting their marching orders? Um, quite honestly, in my opinion, is, is, is just plain wrong because the people are not deciding who they want to run for the Democrats. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.